Welcome back to the channel guys, Sergio here with you today. Um, we're going to be looking at installing Visual Pinball uh, on my desktop using a three screen setup. This is a fresh uh, install. Um, this video actually comes at a perfect time since my Visual Pinball folder got corrupted over the weekend. And um, I wanted to share with you guys uh, how simple it is to install uh, VPX, Visual Pinball 10. Uh, on your desktop or on your uh, visual pinball cabinet if you're starting out. So um, there's a lot of people that uh, want to dive into visual pinball, uh, but they're a little bit intimidated because, um, you know, there's a lot to learn, a lot to read, and uh, they don't, uh, often they don't know where to start. So uh, that's the purpose of this video. Um, I always uh, advise anybody getting into the hobby, there's three main guides you should follow. MJR Spinscape Guide, which covers everything visual pinball from A to Z. Uh, very, very, very detailed, a lot to read. Uh, we call it the Bible uh, of uh, visual pinball. Um, then there's a Gens with his FAQ that could be found on visual pinball junkies. Um, that's basically a simpler version. Um, understanding everything visual pinball from A to Z, and it covers a lot of the questions um, you know, that typically uh, new, uh, new members would ask. And uh, last but not least, um, there's uh, obviously uh, Terry Red. Uh, he's got very in-depth uh, videos on his YouTube channel. Some people complain they're a little bit too long, perhaps, but then again, uh, he covers everything in you know step by step, word for word, and uh, it's helped me tremendously. And so you got to check him out. And um, there's there's tons of other members. Uh, I'm going to say also David Nailbuster. Um, he's uh, him and Terry Red are, are the two main uh, characters behind Pin Up Popper, and um, you know they they have everything covered again for me to Z on how to set it up. So that's for a later video anyway. Right now we're just gonna you know uh, get started with installing uh, our first table. So uh, before we uh, get started, um, one very important thing you're gonna uh, on your desktop make sure you click the display settings uh, button. And all your three screens are going to be listed here. Um, don't pay attention too much to the way uh, Windows numbers your screens. The most important uh, things is that, uh, or the most important things are uh, that your uh, play field monitor is uh, your first monitor, set as your primary monitor. Your back glass is your second monitor and your DMD uh, is your third monitor, okay? Uh, when you line these up, make sure they're all lined evenly up at the top. Um, you know, none of this stuff here, none of this stuff here, none of this stuff here, like none of this is gonna work. This is gonna cause you headaches. Everything has to be even, and uh, your scale and layout uh, has to be set to 100%, okay? Um, that's very, very important. Once this is done, um, I already have a bunch of files uh, needed that I downloaded. I'm going to leave links below, but basically three websites, everybody knows them, VP Forums, VPinball, and VP Universe, okay? Uh, I'm not going to go in depth on how to download a table in a back class and, and that sort of thing. You guys know how to do that. I mean, I, you know, it's very self-explanatory. If you want me to show you quickly, uh, I have the tab already open, uh, VP Forums, you, you know, you create an account, and then Visual Pinball Tables tab, pretty straightforward. VPX tables, all your ROMs are also listed here, uh, and then your back glass is on the front medium back glass, DB2S centimeter back glasses, um, you know, and you choose the back glass that matches uh, your table. In regards to ROMs, typically anything 1970s uh, and older don't require a ROM, anything 1985 to 1980 uh, may or may not require a ROM. Um, everything 1985 and newer requires a ROM. So as far as ROMs, uh, especially Gottlieb ROMs, um, don't ask me. I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you where you can find them. I have to respect uh, the visual pinball community and the uh, gentleman uh, who hosts the, the site where the, the ROMs could be found. Uh, he has requested none of the members share it. Um, if you guys are, you know, Google uh, savvy enough, you can search on the web, you'll find it. You can find anything on the web. Um, so that's it. I've already downloaded uh, my files. And so first things we're going to do, um, I've downloaded the VPX uh, setup um, file that we need. I'll leave a link for that uh, below. I already extracted the file, which I extracted in, in this folder. It's our VPX setup. 
Uh, one tip I will give you guys before you extract any files, uh, when you download something, right click it, click properties. There's going to be a box here that says unblock. Uh, make sure that you check the unblock, hit apply, hit OK, and you're good to go. You'd be surprised how many times you have issues uh, and you, you, know, you send yourself in, in a tailspin uh, trying to figure out um, you know, uh, whatever it is you're trying to figure out only to realize <laughs> that you know your problems could have been easily solved by check marking that box and hitting OK. So uh, make sure that that's done for anything you download Visual Pinball related. So now that we have the EXE uh, extracted, we're going to click it and uh, it's going to start our uh, installation process. It's going to ask you to install it on our C, uh, an RC drive. Yes, I always recommend installing anything Visual Pinball related on our C drive. It just makes things simpler. To hit OK, and we have a DMD selection screen here. We don't need any of this. We're not running real DMDs. Like this is all real DMD support. We're just running, uh, you know, the visual uh, DMD. So we're going to leave that checked. We're going to hit OK or Next, I should say, and. Um, the next window that should pop up is our DirectX. That's going to ask us to install it. Yes, don't install the Bing bar. And um, it's going to quit anyway because it's going to tell us that we already have the latest uh, DirectX runtime components installed. Um, so we'll just let it do its thing. Uh, but that's basically it. I'm going to hit finish. And then. Um, we're going to uh, wait for the next screen to pop up, which should be our net framework um, window. Yep, but it's going to tell us uh, that we already have uh, a better version installed and it's just going to close the application, which is fine. And uh, the next step is, do you have a second monitor for the backlast install B2S? Yes, we do. We know that monitor number one uh, is our backlast monitor. So we'll hit OK. It's going to tell us everything is fine. The B2S class, uh, back class service register, and here we go. And so now we have this window, um, play field width and height. Uh, this is our play field resolution, 1920 by 1080. Our back class display is our display number one, and it's telling us it's 1280 by uh, 1024, which is not true. Uh, my secondary, actually, all my three screens support 1920 by 1080. I try to, you know, simplify things here. And once we're done, we can just close this and that's it, we're done. So if we open up our C drive, you'll see that we have a visual pinball folder, or so we should, right in here, and there's all our files. Okay, so we're gonna come back to this in a second. So one thing I like to do is go into my uh, visual pinball folder, uh, tables folder, create a um, folder called VPX tables keeps my tables uh, in there nice and neat. And uh, one thing to note is uh, you want to make sure you take your screen rest text file um, that's shown here, just copy it um, and then paste it onto your VPX tables. Okay, I already did this, um, you know, uh, so we don't need to do it again, but make sure that the screen rest text file is in here, otherwise this is going to give you problems. Um, you know, once you're done this, you're going to extract your back glass uh, file in your table uh, file into your uh, VPX tables um, folder. Your list tables, VPX tables. I'm not going to show you guys how to do this. You know how to extract files and whatnot. One important thing is you need to ensure that your back glass is named the same as your table uh, name. Uh, you could rename it anything, you know, sky is the limit, the world's your oyster, whatever phrase you want to use. Uh, but they have to be renamed the same. So for this particular purpose, we're just going to make them the same. And here you go. So now uh, we have everything set. Um, one thing that I will also suggest is go into your VPN main. Um, your ROMs folder uh, is listed there. This is where your ROM goes. You don't un unzip the ROM. You just basically cut it or copy whatever you want to do and just paste it onto your VPN main uh, ROMs folder. While you're here, uh, click the Setup EXE, uh, click Yes, uh, make sure that um, your paths are all listed uh, under the C drive, they are, and then your Setup Defaults, your Cabinet Mode by default is going to be unchecked, make sure it's checked, show DMD Display Window, leave everything else the same, 
click OK, click Quit, and off you go. So from here, we're ready to test our table. So now that we have uh, everything set up the way we want to, we double click the uh, V Pinball EXE as you've seen there. It brings up your uh, VPX tables folder. Here's our Medieval Madness table we set up earlier. We're going to click open. And if everything goes correctly, we should have a play field, a backlash, and a DMD. So let's see what it does here. Any minute now. There we go. And so. Here's your play field on monitor number one, monitor number two, you see uh, the back glass, and then monitor number three, uh, you see obviously the DMD. So uh, coming back to uh, the back glass, you'll notice the uh, grill is visible. Um, this is a, a uh, could be used for a two screen uh, setup. You know, if you don't have a third monitor for your DMD, you can place your DMD uh, here. Um, and uh, another thing uh, I will mention regarding the DMD, uh, typically when you first, um, you know, start the table, the very first time the DMD is probably going to be placed, um, you know, on your first monitor, as you can see here. Uh, this is no big deal. You can just drag it and you can place it into your third monitor just like that. You know, nothing, nothing to it. Um, so anyway, going back here to the back glass, uh, you want to uh, delete the grill. All you have to do is right click on the back glass, uh, bring up the back glass settings uh, grill. You're going to click hidden, save settings, OK. And then it's basically uh, going to ask you to reset the table. Uh, we are. And if we go back here to monitor number two, you'll notice that uh, the uh, back glass now shows as a uh, as, uh, full screen. Um, that's it guys that's essentially all there's to it um there's there's nothing else to it um uh, that's basically the nuts and bolts of uh setting up visual pinball uh on your uh, desktop uh three screen setup or on your uh pinball cabinet depending on what you're doing and uh you're off to the races so um hope you guys found this video informative uh hopefully it helped some of you out if it did please uh hit the like and subscribe button and uh, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, happy pinballing.